In this video, I will provide you with a simple concept you're going to be able to wrap your mind around. And that will be the reason why most of the time plywood siding isn't going to work for the structural engineer. And the reason for that is because most walls are going to be a little taller than the plywood siding. And even though we can get larger plywood, that could increase the cost of the project. And another alternative would be to lower the height of the wall to solve this problem. And another thing I'd like to point out is that most of the time, this measurement here is going to be more like 8 foot 1. And that could be for a variety of other reasons also. You might have lumber that's a little bit larger than an inch and a half. And if each component is not assembled tightly and securely together. And trust me, I've measured plenty of these, and this is the number that you're going to come up with most of the time, creating even bigger problems for your piece of plywood. So let's go ahead and take a look at what happens most of the time. And again, this is something I've seen more than once, and that's the fact that the plywood siding will be installed either even with the bottom plate or held up a little bit so that you can get the top plate nailing, which is usually required for structural shear panel. And most of the plywood siding will be providing some type of structural shear value. Next up on the list, since it is siding, it's usually going to be required to drop down below the bottom of the wall framing plates or the top of the building foundation. And the reason for that is because any water that gets on the plywood siding needs to go down over the foundation and then work its way down to the ground and not have the water go down the face of the siding, hook around the bottom of the siding, and then go in between the framing plate and the top of the foundation and then enter the interior of the building. And both of these examples will work for the engineer. You're going to be able to get enough structural nailing on both sides. You're going to be able to nail the bottom plate to the plywood siding and have it be approved by an engineer. However, that's not going to work at the top on the one that we lowered. We're not going to be able to nail into the top plate. And since we're not going to be able to have one without the other, we've got a problem. Next up, let me show you what most people do, and I've even done this myself, and that will be to lower the plywood a little bit below the top of the foundation while angling the nails. You can see here where angling the nails might not be an acceptable practice to a structural engineer. However, I've seen plenty of building inspectors pass this without a problem because it's usually difficult to see even if you know what you're looking for. And of course, this is what it might look like if you have rafters with a seat cut. However, if you are using trusses, you could end up with a larger gap at the top. And that gap can usually be covered by a piece of wood trim, so it won't be a big problem. Where it might not be the same on the bottom. So let's go ahead and whip down to the bottom where we've lowered the siding about 3 eighths of an inch below the top of the foundation, providing us with some sort of overlap. And in some cases, this might be enough. However, if it is not enough, then you might want to try installing a piece of metal behind the plywood siding that will divert the water away from the top of the building foundation. And don't bother asking, I will not be able to provide you with the type of metal or the thickness, the width, that's all going to depend upon your project and quite possibly local building authorities permission, but would recommend something that's not going to rust or deteriorate within a few years and defeating the purpose of actually putting it on in the first place. And I don't recommend installing the building paper to where it's going to be exposed. The metal can be exposed and painted if that's going to work better for your project. So make sure that you raise the building paper up a little bit and if you need to, you can always raise the plywood siding up a little bit to provide you with a little more nailing at the top if you need it. 
to get the nails into the building top plate to make the engineer happy. And again, I can't stress this enough. Even though I've used this and think that it's going to work just fine, especially if you install a nice thick piece of sheet metal. And I'm going to go out on a limb here. After you've installed everything, make sure that it's maintained so that it does not deteriorate in the future and you can get as many years as you possibly can out of this particular process of construction.